Why is this game so loud? Anyway, uh, where we left la bleh. So, this. This is just a bunch of precision precision jumping. Precision jumping. Precision jumping. Precision jumping. It's not that bad. There we go, see? Okay, now we have one more screen of this, and... Gotta shoot these things. And here's a bit of a troll. Go. Now this one, you just have to time it. Now this is a bit of a pain. Because it's easy to die. But this whole part is just precision. Be precise, and you'll be fine. Don't be precise, and you'll be dead. I think that goes without saying anywhere. Spike is a big troll. Don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this screen is not that bad, and I'm pretty sure I get a save point after this. I just have to be very precise. Yeah. And, uh, go back in, because there's a guy there. Just have to get up here one more time. on the fan, again, he goes through the ceiling, I go down here, I don't die there, I go through here, and save point! Okay, good. Welcome to the uh, Castlevania area of this game. With awesome music. Okay, let's actually do it. Uh, this is uh, all one big cycle that I am not that good at memorizing. Yeah, three screens long and a boss, but the boss is pretty bad. You have no idea how bad the boss is. This screen in particular is bad because of that. Yeah, by the way, don't touch those heads because they like turn you to stone. Yeah, this is a pretty bad area. There we go! Yeah, I guess you just have to rush for it right away as soon as you get there. This place is just on one big cycle. Either way, here's the boss. With cheesy lyrics. It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves! Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. <laughs> so cheesy. Needs a savior, so now look at his wine glass what that he's holding. A a that wine glass kills you. Of secrets. And it's, you can only move as soon as this text you? box gets, goes up. And that wine glass will kill you. Now this boss is all random. You've got no idea when he's, where he's going to appear. He's got five places he can appear. And you've no idea what he move he's going to do. And I'm dead. That, uh, those platforms really like to uh, eat your jump, and you can also fall through them because of how two platforms offset. 
it's just buggy. Okay, Dra Dracula, he's got, uh, he can appear in seven different positions, and he's got, like, I don't know how many attacks he's got. This attack, the homing apple, the spiral apples, the moon, the fire, uh, he also has the, uh, the, uh, warp thing. These things, I hate those things. Okay, Dracula time. Ah! Is it six or seven? He's got the warp things, the three types of apples, the moon and the fire. Also, uh, when he gets to a half health or something, he puts these brain things out. Oh, I hate those. They're so hard to dodge. Done! Okay then. Shoot the Kirby, and there's our orb. Okay then. Now through here, let's save. Because if you go through here without having all six orbs, you just die. And that takes us back to the beginning. Okay then. Uh, that part was not nearly as bad. Dracula is a boss, all about RNG, but. If you know how each attack works, you know how to dodge it. So, now that we've gone up, now what do we have left to do? Well, um... Yeah. You know what, I'm actually gonna cut here and show you something that I forgot to show. So, it's in this screen. If you jump down here... Airplane! The airplane will kill you, by the way, and it is impossible for you to jump down and dodge the airplane. Just a fun thing to show off. Uh, so now where do we go? Well, um... We go down here. Dodge the spike wall. That is not dodging the spike wall. Really. Uh, now we could go through the left wall, or the right wall, and go back to that area where we fought Birdo and stuff, but let's not do that, because frankly that wasn't fun. Uh, we've got two options. We can go left or down. I say we go down. Because going down is better. Why? Because I said so. Uh, so let's go... Okay, I'm dead. Yeah, that third one uh, goes the opposite direction. go through here. And then you kind of have to double jump over the trigger. I said over the trigger, the uh, third floor spike wall, and then you go down. There's also stuff if you go through the left wall, but we'll come to that later. because I have practiced it. So yeah, you just go over here and you jump down here and... You have to shoot that spike that's wiggly. It's kind of difficult. Okay, so uh, down here you have to shoot the wiggly spike and land on it. And now we have a disappearing block puzzle. Kind of pain. Except I know the pattern it goes. What? I thought it went up. My bad. I guess I haven't memorized it.
don't know why two blocks appear in there instead, but here we go through here and be like, yay. Now, okay, I'll show this off. If you stay in the screen too long, guts man. And you die. Very annoying, but meh. So, if you don't die from guts man, what you would do is just you just keep on running, and then... This area! Okay, another save point. Kinda figured there'd be a save point there. It's, this is a uh, main hub area. So we came from the, uh, sky. We, there's, we also come back here through the floor later on. Uh, and there's some things that kill you! Uh, so... This will just be, uh, yeah, I'll just end the video here. I've actually only been recording for 42 minutes. This has been the easiest part so far. Uh, but the next part is pretty nasty. Trust me, it's pretty nasty. So, yeah, we'll see you then. It was me. I. I, I won't see you. You'll just hear me. Whatever.